distinguished speakers, sponsors, delegates from India and abroad, participants from the hydrocarbon industry, academia, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to learn that the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology is organizing an international conference on an important theme, human capital development for energy transition. This conference will provide a platform for experts to share their insights and best practices on how we can develop human capital to meet the challenges of energy transition. In fact, the theme is in sync with the government's emphasis on green growth, one of the seven priorities referred to as Saptarishi in the budget 2023-24 for long-term growth of India. The government is encouraging various pathways to accelerate the energy transition to support long-term decarbonization and net zero commitments of the nation, be it compressed biogas, green hydrogen, renewables, battery energy storage, EV mobility, ethanol blending, Honorable Prime Minister's vision of life or lifestyle for environment. Although the share of renewable energy is increasing, the petroleum sector will continue to play a critical role in meeting the country's energy needs in the near future. The sector is also has a role to play in developing new technologies to reduce emissions and improve efficiency in energy use. Carbon capture technology, methane emissions efficiency, greening of operation for producing oil and gas, creating digital oil fields and similar initiatives will help petroleum sector to navigate the path of energy transition. The government has announced the allocation of rupees 35,000 crores in the union budget 2023 as a priority capital investment towards energy transition. Blending of 5% CBG in overall natural gas consumption has been made mandatory. Under Gobhardhan, galvanizing organic bio agro resources dhan scheme, 500 new waste to wealth plants will be established with investment of rupees 10,000 crore to promote the circular economy. The excise duty has been exempted on GST paid CBG contained in blended CNG. The Union Cabinet has also approved the National Green Hydrogen Mission in January 2023 with an allocation of rupees 19,700 crores aimed to build capabilities to produce 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen by 2030 and make India a global hub for production, usage and export of green hydrogen. The subsidies on EV batteries have been extended for more than one year. The budget provides viability gap funding for battery energy storage of 4,000 megawatt hours. The OMCs will set up EV charging facilities at more than 22,000 retail outlets by 2024. As we move towards a cleaner and more sustainable energy future, we need a workforce that is equipped with the necessary skills and knowledge to lead this transition. This includes not just technical skills, but also skills related to innovation, collaboration, and problem solving. I would like to extend my very best wishes to the organizers of the conference. The Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology has been at the forefront of promoting research and innovation in the energy sector. I am confident that this conference will contribute significantly to the national dialogue on energy transition. I wish the Conference on Human Capital Development for Energy Transition a grand success. Jai Hind.